Trees and bushes closed in, scraping and scratching from both sides of our brand new power wagon, pinstriping the $60,000 truck as we navigated up the Coast Mountain Trail. The good news is, we could give it back. When it comes to 4x4 military vehicles, virtually everyone mentions Jeep and their mental list. But not everyone thinks Power Wagon. It was originally developed as Dodge's medium-duty three-quarter ton truck in World War II, built from 1942 to 1945. After the war, Dodge redesigned the civilian version based on this platform. In its early years, the Power Wagon was pressed into service for ambulances, fire trucks, wreckers, farm vehicles, and military personnel carriers. Check out the Radical Hawk Designs 1946 Power Wagon that was on display at SEMA in the link below. Thousands of upgrades later, we have the 2020 Power Wagon of today. But does this military heritage truck have a place in your driveway? We got behind the wheel to find out. Most of our off-road tests are conducted on a purpose-built closed course. It's safe, controlled, and manufacturers can build one anywhere they don't have exciting terrain. And this is important because Mother Nature doesn't always play nice. It won't roll. Have a little faith. However, most of us don't play on a closed course. Mother Nature delivers our playground, and today we're crawling up the coast mountains of the Callahan Valley. We're going to start with a complaint. There is no diesel option for the power wagon. But Ren had reasons for this, and you'll get to decide if they're worth it. This power wagon has one option. Yeah. Four doors and a 6.4 six six four. liter hammer. Yeah. Yep. And that's it. So The 2020 Power Wagon keeps some key features from 2018, including a 2-inch lift, electronically disconnecting front sway bar, Bilstein shocks, rear and front locking differentials, and an integrated bumper mounted winch. The winch is the new 12,000 pound Warren Xeon 12 with a new synthetic line reputed to be 26 pounds lighter and is kink and fray resistant. The winch is one reason there's no diesel engine option as it sits where the diesel's intercooler would go. Ram touts the power wagon as the ultimate off-road pickup and says the diesel engine would add too much weight which is a fair statement since the power wagon is already a little over 7,000 pounds. In addition, the sheer size of the Cummins engine would decrease the current 26 inch wheel articulation, a key component to off-road traction. Just, uh, they took some shots and were taking the Rebel. They were all proud that they could get a wheel off in the air. Yeah. That's not the idea. No, you want all four on the ground. For exactly, traction. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're looking for articulation. Yeah. What makes the Power Wagon unique in the pickup world is that it is a three-quarter ton truck that sacrifices towing and payload numbers for off-road capabilities. The softer suspension is mostly to blame for these lower numbers. The half-ton Rebel has similar towing and payload capacity, but the advantage in the Power Wagon is you have a three-quarter ton frame that's been designed to handle up to 20,000 pounds towing and payloads of 4,000 pounds, a much more sturdy and rigid frame than any half-ton truck. My expectations taking a three-quarter ton truck up a trail designed for summer ATV use and winter snowmobile use were low. I previously wheeled my half-ton Ram 1500 with a two-inch lift along a trail including a rock garden, following a modified Jeep. Two broken lift blocks, a bent running board, a dented rocker panel, some underbody polishing, and a spectacular front air dam removal were among the casualties in a mostly slow, torturous trail ride. On this test, our caravan consisted of six trucks, three Ram Rebels and three Power Wagons, led by a Jeep Wrangler. The trail began benignly enough but became more exciting the higher we went, navigating tight switchbacks through old growth forest. Surprisingly, we had no trouble keeping up with the Rebels through the tight turns. I actually don't feel a huge difference as far as turning radius and uh, we're still maneuvering all these same tight U-turns on the trail that we did in the Rebel Yep. Um, in a much larger truck. Although the Power Wagon does have a 2 foot larger turning diameter of 48.2 feet. The hood is tall, leaving us completely blind to climbing and cresting hilltops. Fortunately, the images from the front facing camera on the 12 inch screen made it simple. This is part of the new Power Wagon 360 degree camera system where cameras generate a top down view of the obstacles around your truck. In the Power Wagon with that high hood, uh, when we're braking over and turning at the same time, trying to miss rocks, uh, trees, 
Um, without that camera, you would definitely need a spotter. It shows you exactly where your tires are going to be, and it turns with the steering wheel, so you can really place a truck easily with this camera system. Honestly, having that massive screen for like even right now where we've got our front facing camera going yep. and we can have everything else, it's like having twin screens. The 6.4 liter V8 is standard, but is now enhanced with the engineering technology we first saw in the light duty Ram. To make it more quieter in the cabin, there's new engine mounts, new exhaust brackets, vibration cancelling frame tech, and active noise cancellation through the stereo. This also helps the cylinder deactivation system perform across a wider RPM range. Since it is a three quarter ton truck, no EPA fuel economy numbers are required. All you can count on is that it will drink more than a half ton while unloaded, but probably be comparable while towing or with a significant payload. Compared to previous years, the max towing has increased to 10,620 pounds and the payload to 1,660 pounds. Although it has improved, it's nowhere near the competition in other heavy duty trucks. Depending on the options you choose, the towing can drop to 10,350 pounds and the payload to 1,510 pounds. If big payload and towing are a necessity for you, look to the Ram 2500 or 3500 and preferably the diesel. If you think that the exterior and the interior look like a 1500, you're right. The styling now resembles the Ram 1500, notably the Ram Rebel. The interior doors are still power wagon, but the dash and steering wheel take their cues from the Rebel. On the exterior, all but the tradesman trim, the most affordable one, get the suitably dubbed mustache grille. While the interior looks similar to the Rebel, it isn't. It's still the old cab with less room in the cab, especially in the rear seat. It's not as roomy as the Rebel and you don't have the flat uh, rear floor. You also don't get running boards, which would interfere with the off-road clearance, nor can you get a telescoping steering wheel. The eight-speed transmission we saw in the Ram 1500 gets beefed up in the power wagon to handle the 410 horsepower and the 429 pound-feet of torque. It shifts smoothly and always has the right gear to deliver the power you need, a huge improvement over the previous six-speed. The first gear is also much shorter, improving the low-range crawl ratio. Just point the power wagon at the obstacle you need to conquer and put a light touch on the skinny pedal. Speaking of off-road, you still have solid front and rear axles with 4 to 10 gearing and approach, breakover and departure angles and greater articulation than previously. Incidentally, these numbers are far better than the little half-ton brother, the Ram Rebel. All of this made it easy to crawl up the forested mountainous steep slopes of damp rocks, dirt and tree roots. The Power Wagon is completely unique in the three quarter ton segment as no other manufacturer's off-road trim package offers the same level of off-road prowess. Before this off-road test, I wouldn't have considered the Power Wagon as a serious truck option for very many people. If you don't need the big payload and towing numbers of other three quarter ton trucks, but you do need top-notch off-road capabilities for work and weekends, this is your best choice. You're going to buy a truck and you want to go off-road, you'll end up modifying it to the Oops. essentials that this has. So the front tow hooks, the 12,000 pound winch, which is built in, yep. steel bumpers front and back, yep. not plastic, um, the uh, front and rear lockers, yep. and uh, the electronic disconnecting sway bar. The Power Wagon is a great platform for a tough overland vehicle or go deep to set up base camp for hunting, fishing, ATV or dirt bike adventures. For many of us, the new Power Wagon is the perfect solution right off the showroom floor. Does a three quarter ton off-road truck appeal to you? Would you give up some fuel economy, towing and payload numbers to get a stronger frame, a bigger engine, better off-road performance? Please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. And ring that bell so you're the first to know when a new video comes out. Until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you on the trails.